Do you feel like no one is listening to you? Don't you feel important when people hear what you have to say? Well, if that's the case, why don't you start listening to yourself? We feel most love when we're heard. And so I'm going to challenge you today to take the time to listen to yourself. We spend so much tr time trying to get attention from other people by talking. And some of us go blah, 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 and never stop talking. Isn't that annoying? And then others of us are afraid to talk. So we withhold and we don't say anything. Isn't it challenging to be in conversation with that person? So which one do you want to be? And how do you know how much is enough to say and how much is too much? Well... I'd like to enroll you in spending some time listening to yourself so that you know what's valuable. You know what's valuable to you and you know what's valuable to share with other people. Heather, I don't know how to listen to myself. I've never taken time to listen to myself. Nobody's ever convinced me that that's a good idea before, but you know what? Now you've convinced me that's a good idea. What can I do to actually listen to myself? Okay. So here are some of my favorite things to do for me personally that I like to do to hear and listen to myself. So one of my favorite ways to listen to myself is to meditate. There are so many different ways of meditating and we're not going to necessarily get into all of that now. But if you like meditating or if you have meditated before, if you're curious about meditating, go ahead and pop it in the comments. Yes, I've meditated and I like it and I think it's a great way for me to listen to myself. No, I don't really like meditating. I have a lot of trouble meditating. What is it for you? Is I see Joy. Joy, do you ever have you ever meditated? Put in the comments if you ever meditated and if you, if you spend time listening to yourself. If you think that it's important to spend time hearing what you think is important to say. Because what, like I said earlier, when you love yourself, um, I mean, you feel loved by others when they listen to you. So a way you can love yourself is by listening to yourself. She says, yes. Okay, so meditation is one of the things that we can do. To and, it, and there's so many different ways to meditate. My favorite way of meditating is literally just closing my eyes. And I imagine my eyeballs are in my heart. And I take a deep breath. And I say to myself, God, please allow me thoughtlessness. And that's all I do. And then I see how much how many seconds of time I can catch without any thoughts. And so that's one of the first ways of listening to yourself is just getting quiet enough to actually have something come through. So the first piece of that is getting quiet enough for something to come through. So sometimes it's good just to catch a second or two seconds. And when you can catch one second of no thoughts, then you can start catching two seconds and then three and four and before you know it you're like 10 minutes and you have had no thoughts and, and then and then I always go oh my gosh I just had all those minutes with no thoughts and that's always the first thought that comes in okay so the second thing that you can do to start listening to yourself is journaling how many people here journal give me a little thumbs up if you like journaling or, you know, in the comments, you can put something that you've learned from yourself from journaling. Do you think journaling is effective? Does it work for you? Have you tried it? Are you willing to give it a try today? Any one of these things that you choose. If you just do one of these different tools that I'm going to offer you today, if you just pick one and you do it every day for like five days for five minutes or less, you're going to start feeling better, I promise. It's really just taking the action to take time to listen to yourself because all of us really want to be heard and we feel so valuable when we're heard. So let's take the time to do that for ourselves. Okay, another way that you can listen to yourself is deep breathing. So many of us are so anxious because it's like and there's no clarity. And it's amazing how just taking deep breaths in and releasing them out. It's like cleaning your house. You know how when you clean your house, somehow you can think a little more clearly? And when you can think clearly, you can express yourself more clearly. When you can express yourself more clearly, then other people actually want to listen, and you're going to want to be listening to what you say. And so it's like cleaning your house when you take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. 
you're literally cleaning out yourself on a cellular level. Lillian says, every day since I began my Roxy journey, I've been journaling, and it really is an important part of her journey. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, for me personally, every time I journal, I get to discover who I am, and discovering who I am is so important. And it's a way for me <clears throat> to feel valuable to myself because I'm listening to, to what's important to me. Sometimes other people don't want to hear all of that stuff. And when we write it down and we hear ourselves, it's like, oh, well, that's the only person I really needed to share this with in the first place was me. And Helen says, hey, hi, Helen. I'm glad you're here. So another thing that we can do to listen to ourselves, my gosh, this is one of my favorite things. I don't personally do breath work, but if you know somebody locally who does breath work, and I can put you in touch with somebody locally here in South Florida who does breath work, but man, is that an amazing way to listen to yourself. So breath work's an option. Doing yoga. There's something really magical about doing yoga. It's like you put yourself through all this strenuous activity. And then at the end, they always have this moment where you lay still. And in that moment, man, you can hear your authentic self. It's so beautiful. So doing yoga is another. Anybody going to do yoga? Give me a little thumbs up or put in the, in the comments, yes, I love yoga. I want to do yoga today. Joy says, I've been... I have my driving test next week. I failed my first because of performance anxiety. I will try the breathing. Yes, yes, good. Try the breathing. Breathing is so, so good. It cleans us out, gives you the chance to listen. Also, um, Joy, make sure you check out the other video from a couple days ago about um, feeling through your anxiety. That, that one's going to help also. Okay, so another thing that you can do other than yoga and breath work and br deep breathing and journaling and meditating is exercising. When we exercise, man, we are taking such good care of ourselves. And you're like, okay, what does exercise have anything to do with my listening ability or feeling heard? Okay, well, number one, you're, when you're running, you're releasing all these endorphins. It's amazing what can happen in your brain. The clarity that comes with exercise, I don't remember exactly the research, but I know at one point or another, I read something about how when you're exercising, you're literally shutting down that part of your brain that makes too much noise and you're opening up that part of your brain that has a lot of creativity and thinking and, and you'll be able to hear yourself and understand yourself and know yourself better. Uh, let's see. The last one that I have is what I like to call talking to your goddess self. And I'll get into that in just a minute. But before, before we get into talking to your goddess self, I just want to know what are you guys going to choose today? to listen to yourself. So go ahead and pop it in the comments. Are you going to meditate? Are you going to journal? Are you going to do deep breathing? Are you going to find a breath worker to guide you through breath work? Are you going to do yoga so that you get that wonderful meditation at the end so you can... Let me tell you something amazing about yoga. So you guys know how I sing. Well, maybe not everybody knows that I sing. I didn't even know. I mean, I knew that I sing, but I wasn't sharing it, right? And because of the yoga practice and because of the meditation that I've been doing and because of the journaling and because of all the personal development that I've do been doing, in those moments in yoga and in those moments in meditation, especially group meditation, that song that lives in me, it like literally is busting out of me. It doesn't want to stay in anymore. And so that's truly really listening internally and i'm going wow that song is in there and i like i have to share it and that comes from creating that space creating that peace creating that silence so that i can hear me so that there isn't all that at the top okay uh and we've got a couple more yoga tomorrow morning hannah says and hannah says hi to ingrid hi ingrid okay so let me talk to you about your goddess self so this is one of my favorite pieces of my coaching program that I do. I take people on a hypnosis journey where you actually get to meet your higher power goddess self that lives inside of you. But you can, you can imagine it now. Imagine what it would be like to be your goddess self. And if you were going to have a conversation with her, what would she tell you? And so we're doing this in the conscious realm right now. It's a little bit different when we do it in the subconscious realm. But this is a wonderful way of hearing yourself. 
what would your goddess self say? And in the next day or two, we're going to be looking at inner child work. I don't know if I'm going to do that tomorrow or mindfulness. It's mindfulness or inner child work is coming next. And so these are all of the things that you can do to listen to that little inner voice. And also what I want to tell you about the inner voice for me is the most exciting part. When you get quiet enough to hear that little inner voice, this is when your intuition becomes much stronger. And you can start um, listening to the higher power, listening to what's coming through you. This is the way that I'm able to channel is by finding that silence and then listening. And so all the intuition and channeling and all of that will come with it. So you guys know how to get in touch with me if anybody is ready to start working with me. I'm super excited to start working with you. And if you're not ready to start working with me yet, that's cool. What I want you to do is spend time today and this week listening to yourself because it's such a powerful and amazing place to start. Stop waiting for someone else to listen to you and instead start listening to yourself. You will feel so valuable and so important to yourself. So thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.